Here is an overview of the classic Everest Base Camp trek. Day 1. Arrival in Kathmandu. A representative and driver will meet you at the airport and escort you to your hotel. At the hotel you will be briefed about your daily activities by your guide. Day 2. Flight to Lukla and then trek to Fakting. The flight from Kathmandu to Lukla takes 45 minutes and is an adventure in itself with great views of the Everest region from the left of the plane and ending with a hair-raising landing on a steep mountain runway. After meeting your crew, you will start your trek by heading up the Dude Koshi Valley on a well-marked trail to Fakting, overnight at the tea house. Day 3 Trek to Namche. From Fakting, you cross and recross the river on high suspension bridges. Beyond Monjo is the entrance to the Sagarmatha National Park. You then take a steep hike to Namche. If the weather is clear, you get the first glimpse of Mount Everest. Namche is the main trading village in the Kumbu and you can enjoy an illy coffee and amazing brownies here. Day 4, Acclimatisation Day in Namche Bazaar. Namche is tucked away between two ridges and has lots of lodges, tea shops and souvenir shops. It is a great place to spend a day acclimatising before heading off towards Temboche. You will go on a walk up to the Everest View Hotel to assist in climatisation. Day 5, trek to Temboche. From Namche, the trail contours on the side of the valley, high above the Dude Koshi. You will get great views of Everest, Lhotse, Nupse and Amadablam. Passing by several villages and numerous tea shops, you will descend steeply to a bridge over the river at Funki Tenga. The village is an ideal stopover for lunch. Here you can rest before making the steep climb to Temboche, famous for its legendary monastery, the largest in Kumbo. Day 6, Trek to Friche. You descend through a forest, across the Imjakola, and climb steadily to the village of Pamboche. This village is directly opposite Amadablam at 6,856 metres and has exceptional views of the mountain, the Gompa, Mani Walls, and scattered pine trees. A further Two hours walk brings you to Ferrishe. Day 7, acclimatisation day in Ferrishe. You will have an opportunity to wander up the valley to look at the Cholot Show Lake and the perpendicular walls of Cholatsi and Tawachi. And your guide will take you up onto the ridge overlooking Dingboche for the view of the Imja Valley and the incredible south face of Lhotse. Day 8, trek to Lobuche. You continue up the wide valley, beneath the impressive peaks of Cholatse and Tawachi on the left. You then turn right and take a steep climb towards the foot of the Kombu Glacier. Tea House at Dugla is a good spot to have lunch. The trail zigzags up through the boulders of the glacier's terminal moraine. At the top of this climb there are many stone cairns, built as memorials to the many Sherpas who died while climbing Mount Everest. The path then climbs gently along the glacier to eventually reach Lobuche. Day 9, trek to Gorak Shep, then Everest Base Camp at 5,357 metres. To reach your next stop, Kalapatar, you follow the Kombu Glacier. The trail offers superb views of the surrounding mountains, especially where the path is forced to rise to cross a tributary glacier. You stop for lunch at Gorak Shep before finally making your way to Base Camp itself. This takes several hours as the trail weaves its way through ice pinnacles and past the crevasses of the Kombu Glacier. On the return leg, you can take a higher route to get a spectacular view of the Kombu Icefall and the route to the South Col. Day 10, Kalapatar, then Dingboche. A very early start is required to reach the top of Kalapatar, 5,554 metres, for one of the best viewpoints in the Himalaya. From here, you can see the face of Everest and deep into the Kombu Icefield. After lunch, you then descend to Dingboche for the night. Day 11 trek to Namche. From Dingboche you drop down again to follow the river. After crossing it you climb back up through birch and rhododendron forest back to Tengboche. From Tengboche you descend over the Dude Koshe before making your way back to Namche. Day 12, trek to Lukla. Your final day's trekking follows the Dude Koshi back down to Lukla. This last evening in the mountains is the ideal opportunity for a farewell party with the Sherpa guides and porters where you can sample some chang, try Sherpa dancing and look back on a memorable trekking experience. Day 13, fly to Kathmandu. After an early breakfast, you will head to the airstrip for your return journey to Kathmandu. Later you have free time to explore. You stay overnight in a hotel in Kathmandu. Day 14, depart Kathmandu. A representative will take you to the airport for your flight home.